After a month of educational, life learning experiences and fun fill activities, the summer youth program has ended for hundreds of children in the Baintown community. Carla Palmer reports on the lessons learned not only as the children prepare for the new school year, but for the rest of their lives. If a pitcher truly speaks a thousand words, then this statement by senior pastor of Mount Pleasant Green Baptist Church, Wesley Thompson, simply underscores the caption. About 300 children registered for this camp and we were operating at 250 per day. Then there are these two children, Caroline Lewis and Alridge Joseph, whose testimonies of the summer youth camp over the past month further support the impact on their lives. I enjoy the summer camp by having fun to it, art and craft, respecting others. We learn how to sit, like act like a young lady, how to speak to people, how to process ourselves when people come and how to speak to others. We learn how to make score by pace and have other fun as well. Sponsored by the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture, the summer program was specifically designed for at-risk children. According to Pastor Thompson, among the primary lessons was enhancing participants' social skills. Because generally, um, most children come from a background where they don't know how to express themselves and they only know how to solve problems basically from one way. And so our job is to show them the alternative. There were skits and dramas on, on bullying and, and how to uh, solve problems through not fighting. I've seen this program as a preventative measure that these children will not end up in juvenile court. According to the Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Danny Johnson, similar camps also took place in the family islands. He says keeping children engaged in a safe and learning environment was the government's duty. You know, everyone goes out and plays in the summer, but you need supervised activity and they're getting supervised activity. That's what we're about. It's about transforming the lives of our young people, one person at a time. Um, but we, we now have to go quickly, so we got to do it in big groups and pay attention to each and every child in that class. Already, the children are looking forward to the program next year. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.